Good morning. Today I have a chance to talk with the president of rapidly developing business association, Kiev, the Netherlands, Hans Remakers. Good morning, Hans. Good morning, Yaroslava. It's great to see you here uh, in our, on our TV channel, Rosa TV, and for me it's a big honor to talk with you today. Thank you for inviting me. Let's start with a brief description about uh, Business Club Kiev Net Netherlands and tell me please a few words about history of Business Club, uh, the main goals and some missions and objectives of the club. Okay, Business Club Kiev the Netherlands was founded in the year 2000 by eight founders. Uh, they used to send out Ukrainian managers to the Netherlands to be trained. But after some years, the development uh, changed a little bit for them and I met one of the founders of that organization, Irina Budingheimer, and she asked me kindly if I would be willing to take over this organization. So I took over this organization in the August 2013, together with a Ukrainian partner, and uh, we immediately changed the concept because uh, we are not uh, interested in sending out Ukrainian managers to the Netherlands, uh, but we are uh, trying to help Ukrainian companies to develop their business into Western Europe, and of course mainly my country, the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. uh, founded in 2000 year, Kiev, the Netherlands Club, uh, is business association for enterprises, organizations and individuals. It's a very big and hard work, and it will be interesting to know, is it your first um, is it your first experience in the organization of such large business association? And uh, tell me what was the idea of creating of this business association? What uh, is very important is that this business association tries to help Ukrainian companies to enter the Western European market. Um, I forgot a little bit about your question. <laughs> uh, I, I was asking about, um, is it your first experience? Oh no, okay. It's, it's absolutely uh, my first experience, but of course I used to uh, have my own business in the Netherlands uh, with a lot of contacts. Uh, I used to have my own insurance company in the Netherlands, as well as I work for an insurance company right now in Ukraine. That's my main job. And the business club is my hobby. So it's my first experience, but it's uh, developing very uh, rapidly and very quickly. Very interesting experience and a very good way. Um, for 14 years, the club has existed as an exclusive, closely knit club of managers of Ukrainian companies who interned and trained in Netherlands. Yes. As we know today, uh, Business Club is open to entrepreneurs from Ukraine, from Netherlands, and of course from um, other European Union countries. Mm -hmm. And um, do you remember some difficulties that you have in, at that transition period? And if yes, why do you think they was? No, the, we, we did not have any uh, problems at all. Mm -hmm. The transition went very easily. We just changed the concept. We had our first event uh, in the Opera Hotel the 30th of October last year, and there were already 120 uh, companies attending. Then we moved to uh, Odessa, to the Hotel Gagarin, and there were a lot of uh, uh, people uh, attending. And the last event we had right now, starting this year, the 18th of February, was in the Radisson Blue, and there were a lot of uh, people. By the way, your TV channel was there too, so you can you can tell about that too. Yes, it was very great, and I want to tell you thank you for invitation. It thank you very much. You're welcome. As we know, Ukraine is completely determined the course we are pro-European country, and uh, in the future, what perspective you see in development of our country, in development of your business club, as particular. Well, I think uh, Ukraine is, uh, is willing and wants to go to the European Union. Uh, a very famous person in your country, Mr. Boris Tarashuk, who was uh, attending the last event, told that too, that he's pro-European and he believes that Ukraine goes to the European Union. Uh, of course, it's not actually happening right now because of the situation in this country. But uh, that doesn't mean that you cannot do anything right now. You can start working on it by starting to uh, export goods, services to Western Europe. Because that possibility Ukraine has by signing the, the agreement they did last year. You're a very successful person and it will be interesting to know, do you pay charity? Uh, do you pay attention to the charity? And do you think that people should help each other or should help to people who need it more than other people? 
I think uh, generally I think that people should always help each other. Uh, but of course in this country there is a situation going on that there is no more uh, help needed. Uh, yesterday I uh, was invited to go to a charity foundation uh, next to the uh, former residence of uh, your ex-president Yanukovych. Uh, and this is a little foundation, worldwide, uh, World Life Help for Children in Ukraine. Uh, and they are located in the uh, previous quarters of the Barkut. The Barkut used to stay there to guard uh, Yanukovych and they use those premises. And they got a lot of uh, charity coming in from the United States and from other countries, but they need more help. They asked me, for instance, uh, Hans, is it possible to send out uh, 10 children to the Netherlands to visit for a couple of days uh, the Netherlands to see <coughs> the environment in the Netherlands and to experience how it is to be in a Western European uh, country? And I said, okay, we are going to try to do that for you and try to achieve that uh, goal for you. But it's a very sad situation if, those, if you see those children in those uh, premises there who uh, lost their father uh, in war and uh, now are sitting there getting some psychological help. So uh, I have a great respect for uh, Peter T Timikov and Olga Rutsin Rutnitskaya who are running that uh, charity fund. I'm proud of you and I'm proud of things you do and you're planning to do because in that hard way in that hard time, it's really, we, we need it. It's good that you care about other people and other children. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not only caring about it, a lot of people are doing yes. that already, so I'm not the only person. Mm -hmm. But it's very important if a lot of people do that, sure. It's very great. And <coughs> finally, as a president of Rapidly Developing Business Association, <coughs> tell us about some um, achievements and maybe some uh, interesting plans in the future. <laughs> Uh, uh, from the beginning of uh, the, the club, when we restarted the club actually, we had uh, immediately some interesting uh, companies who want uh, to export their uh, products to Western Europe. One of them is a, a winery from Odessa region, Agroyuk, and they have very good uh, red wine as well as white wine. And we have uh, taste panels or sommeliers in the Netherlands who tried the wine and they say, okay, this wine is suitable for the Western European market. Uh, that is one example from, because what I used to do and what I always do, I don't postpone things. And that's maybe a little bit the mentality in this country, they have a good idea. And then they say, okay, we well, let's start it. Then the next morning they say, oh no, we wait and we postpone until the situation changes. That's actually what this club is not doing. We immediately take action if we see uh, some possibilities. So that's why we are already entering uh, the Western European market for Ukrainian companies. Uh, that's one example. Uh, the second example you saw too at the last event are the wedding dresses from uh, a company called Dario Kalazzi. Uh, very interesting. Uh, there are some uh, companies interested in uh, importing those uh, wedding gowns uh, in, in the Netherlands. And so we got many more examples. Uh, this country is very famous about vodka. So we found a very good vodka for the Dutch market. And it's Knias, so th that's uh, very good too. So we keep on going, but it doesn't matter what kind of products or services there are, we, we will look for them if it's possible. So any service or any goods are interesting for Western European market. Dear guests, today we had a chance to talk with the president of Rapidly Developing Business Association, Kiev, the Netherlands, Hans Remakers. Hans, I want to tell thank you. Uh, I want to tell you thank you for interesting interview. Uh, and I think uh, in short time we will see you here again with new achievements and with new great ideas for your business. Thank you for inviting me, Yaroslava. It was thank nice. You. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.